Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 2! Let's head on into the basement of Windia Castle. Or whatever this place is called. Okay, it's a tower. There we go. Well, yeah, I suppose they do have a few towers around here. Hey, okay, how's it going? Ah, wait, don't you mean downstairs since it's a basement? How does it even work? Okay, well... Well, you don't have to have Nina at the lead of your party yet, but I'm going to do that anyway. I decided to give the Spoona Shaman to Nina there to help boost her Vigor stat instead of Sten. Remember that spot for later there, that intersection viewers? Because I'm going to come back there off screen. This is a pretty long branching path, so yeah, it's going to take a little while to get to the end of this one for some treasure. And the only problem with giving the Spoona Shaman to Nina is that she doesn't have a whole lot of durability, and if the enemies just gang up on her, there's nothing you can do to save her from losing her Shaman form. Alright, here we got a new enemy, Gargoyles! These guys are weak to win! Let's see, they don't have too much HP. If you want to, you could go with Typhoon, but I think we'll be fine with just a Cyclone spell and let the other guys do whatever they need to do. Yeah, these guys have quite a bit of speed. Unless you give the Spoon Shaman to Sten with his transformation there, you're not going to be faster than these guys no matter what you do. But yeah, pretty much all the enemies in this area are divided into two groups. They either have 81 or less agility, or they have 117 or more agility. Ideally, you'd like to fall somewhere in between. How are we doing here? Hmm. Yeah, I'll tap off Bash's HP so he doesn't lose his shaman, maybe. So yeah, ideally, you'd like to get your party members up to 88 vigor. That would be optimal. All the other paths that I'm not taking here, they just lead to dead ends. Hmm. Yeah, we take this one. Fortunately, the encounter rate isn't too insane here. I think it's just normal monster dancing. Yeah. Why do they call this place a cavern? How does that even work? never seen a cave with brick floors before. Well, I suppose I had them in the first Dragon Quest game, but here we get a ring that I'll never use, but I might as well check it out. Let's see. Well, it's got more attack power. Not that I really need it, but... Well, okay, I'll just give it to her anyway, and then I can have anyone use the black ring to silence enemies. Okay, so that's all I came here for. I'll just meet you back where we had that one intersection there unless I meet a new enemy on the way back. Okay, well, here is a new enemy. Let's see, Royal Guards. Found them on the way back here. And let's see, they have no weaknesses, really, as far as elemental weaknesses go. So, yeah, we'll just go nuts with, let's see... The Lord Slug in the back. Yeah, they're weak to fire. So this is where I'd want to use Sten's AP there. Don't just burn his AP on anything. You want to save it for enemies like the Lord Slug or Needle Puffer who can counterattack or Cloud Eaters who can use Typhoon on your whole party. So yeah, don't bother using it to cast Bomb. Or, uh, what do they call it? Samoon here, I think it was. Whatever his Wind Elemental spell is called. Well, let's see. The Royal Guards are just really fast. And they might run away, but they don't give experience like Metal Slimes do. So, okay. We're done here. I'll keep heading back to the intersection then. Okay. We're back at the intersection. So far, I haven't been getting terribly unlucky with Nina. She's... Managed to keep her shaman form this long. Fortunately, the dungeon isn't really that long to begin with anyway. Oh, so this is why they call it a cave. Okay, now for this part, let's see what we got here. 
Nina, hmm, you're getting a little light on AP, but I think we'll be okay. I can use some a wisdom fruit if I feel the need. And your HP is good. How's your condition doing? Ooh. Wow, how did everyone lose their conditioning like that so quickly? Yeah, I wish I knew how all that stuff worked, but sadly, I do not. But having great condition will help you get, you know, what is it? Uh, ambushes on enemies, preemptives. Okay, so we got our bigger stat decently high enough. So, yeah, we'll just stick with the wisdom braces that we got here. You need to have Nina in the lead of your party for this next part here. And hopefully you've got her up to at least level 24. That'll make life a lot easier for her. Now this part is a little tricky. Let's... Okay. Oh! I forgot to do something. Hold on. Yeah, if you ever want to leave, just look at the first statue there and you'll get out. But one thing I want to do is have Ryu cast Smoke to turn the little dancing monster icon blue. And that'll reduce the encounter rate for Nina's solo segment here. Yeah, this is why I brought her along when I did, so that way she'd have the levels to be able to survive here. Now, with this part, it's kind of like Lufia 2, where whenever you take a step, these rocks will move around. And basically what you need to do is navigate through this area while, while these rocks keep on trying to get you, or get in the way. Oh, yeah, and something I uh, forgot to mention here. Let's see. Yeah, she got her HP and AP restored upon going into the area here. So, yeah, just try and keep her HP topped off as much as possible. If you lose your shaman, and chances are you will, okay, it happens. But let's see. Well, we got a wind brace, which I think is the exact same thing as the speed shoes. So, yeah, I don't... If there is a difference, let me know, but I don't think there is a difference. Well then! Not much I can do about that. Well, if you do die... Ow. Yeah, you don't get sent back to a dragon statue. You just get sent back here. But, yeah. Holy cow, that was bad. Huh, did I lose like half my money? Not that it would matter, but... Okay. Alright, let's try that one again. Do I at least keep what I've gotten? Okay, we got at least got the wind brace. So, all right, let's see. Yeah, let's get smoke going. Yeah, now you see why I've done what I've done to be able to get through this place with as few encounters as possible. Holy cow. Okay, let's try again. Hmm, I don't think I can make it up there before that stone gets to me. Let's try this again. No? Ha-ha! I, no, I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. Whoa! You don't actually have to go for these treasures. I'm just doing it to satisfy my OCD. They're not that important. Except this one, maybe. If you're using Nina full-time. Because, yeah, not only is it stronger, it also boosts your vigor. Hooray! Let's see. Let's see if I can't get her... Vigor up again, so that way I can better deal with the enemies here, but... Yes, the only problem with the wind robe is that Espara can't equip it. So, I guess that's a little advantage that Nina gets, but it's totally not worth giving up that survivability. I mean, Nina is able to handle... Or participate in random encounters, but she's just never going to hold on to her shaman form for that long. Not again. Alright, we're almost at the end here. 
Okay, made it. How are we doing here? Alright, we're good there. Wow, I'm still in great condition, even after dying. How does it even work? Eh, you died, you'll get over it. Yeah, let's make a backup here. Yeah, just shake it off. You'll be fine. Oh, what do you mean, our purpose? Who else are you speaking for here? Okay, um, why do you care about that? Oh, yeah, that would be helpful. What do you mean to save the world? How did you jump from point A to point B there? I mean, all the bad guys have done is like, what, what have we done? Like, killed seven or eight demons or something by now? And they withered a forest and kidnapped Rand's mom. I mean, yeah, those are horrible things, but that's not like the fate of the world hangs in the balance. I mean, that's, that's rather extreme, I would think. Well, we've done it before. You haven't played this JRPG before, have you? For boss time against the Guardian. And this fight is pretty straightforward. Just go with good Ice Blast. Well, just, yeah, just go with that because that's your best single targeting damage unless you've taught missile to her, or Shiraka. Why even bother with that? I mean, it's not like I'm ever going to use my physical attacks against you. Whatever works for you. Let's see, the Guardian has 70 agility, so if you could get up to 77 at least, that would be good. But alright, got her. Hey, hey, all right. Well, that was easy. I mean, apart from the dying thing. Yeah, Nina just doesn't have the HP. <laughs> oh, well. Hey, how's it going? Oh, the one from the first game? Evidently. Really? She does? Yeah, what's going on here? Oh, why is that? You seem to have no trouble transforming into the great bird. What do you mean? Oh, okay, so I'm guessing you're talking about Ryu the first. That would be my idea. Oh. Darn. Nuts. So, there's nothing we can do? Well, yeah, that is the general idea. Oh, thanks, I guess. Can we fly at all with the wings that we already have? I mean, just like hover in place or something, like a wingly or something. Oh. Well, dragons can fly. Why can't we just ride on a badass dragon? Let's see what happens if I say no. No, I haven't. What, that's it? What happens if I say yes? Ah, uh, That's it? Where did the... Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, we got the wing seal there. Okay, well, that's all we got to do here. I'll just meet you back out. We do have to walk back. We can't use exit. 
Okay, we made it out of there alive. Oh, right, yeah, we already did that. And if I recall correctly, I think we need to talk to the king. Well, evidently that old lady believed it. If I can have... Game? Why do I have such trouble walking up these stairs? I'm not drunk. Hey, how's it going? Oh, we need uh, Nina up front. Hey, we got the seal. Oh, yeah, everything went as planned. Well, since you're gonna die anyway, could you just become the great bird for me? So that way we don't lose Nina? Oh, okay. Yeah, I suppose dying and all that, you know? It's just so inconvenient. What guest bedroom, though? I thought that was the queen's bedroom. Oh, yep. Well, we kind of need to save the world and all that. Or at least that's what we think. Well, we're not doing it for your sake. You kind of weren't there anyway. That's not exactly the point. Yeah, we've kind of been everywhere that we can't fly to. Well, almost everywhere. Any place that was relevant. Oh, hey, all right. Oh. And we'll never see him again. But yeah, I wonder what that was all about. Oh, okay, this was the room. Yeah, I went there before. Hey, how's it going? Hmm? What was that sound? Eh, it's probably not important. I wouldn't worry about it. But what was going on there? There was nothing there before, either. Nuts. Uh-oh. Yeah, what do you think you're doing there, Mina? Will Mina be able to get the winged seal back? Can we stop Mina before it's too late? Find out next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire 2. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.